Hey runners, whether you're a seasoned marathoner or a newbie gearing up for your first 5K, fueling properly on race day is crucial for your performance and overall experience. Ever hit the dreaded wall during a race? It's that moment when your energy plummets, your legs feel like lead, and every step becomes a struggle. Let's talk about how to avoid it with some effective race day fueling tips. These strategies will help you maintain your energy levels and keep you running strong from start to finish. Stick around and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more running advice. Your support helps us bring you the best tips and tricks for your running journey. First off, when should you fuel? Timing is everything when it comes to race day nutrition. For shorter races like 5Ks and 10Ks, you can usually rely on your pre-race meal and stored energy. A good pre-race meal should be consumed about two, three hours before the start and should be rich in carbohydrates. But if you're tackling longer races like half marathons or marathons, fueling during the run is a game changer. Why? Because your body needs a continuous supply of energy to keep going. Because races over 75 minutes deplete your body's carbohydrate stores leading to fatigue. This is where mid-race fueling becomes essential. Fueling helps maintain a steady energy supply, preventing that dreaded wall. It keeps your muscles fueled and your mind sharp. Now why is race day fueling so important? It's not just about avoiding the wall, it's about optimizing your performance. Our bodies rely heavily on carbohydrates for energy during long runs. Carbohydrates are the most efficient source of energy for endurance activities. After about 90 minutes, your glycogen stores start depleting. This is when your body starts to struggle to maintain the same pace and effort. Without replenishing them, you'll experience a drop in energy and performance. This can make the latter part of your race incredibly challenging. Consuming easily digestible carbs during the race keeps your blood sugar levels stable, helping you run stronger and longer. It also helps in delaying the onset of fatigue. So what types of fuel should you choose? The market is flooded with options, but not all are created equal. Go for easily digestible carbs like glucose. These are quickly absorbed by your body and provide immediate energy. Sports gels, chews, and drinks are popular because they absorb quickly. They are designed to be easy on the stomach and provide a quick energy boost. Other good options include gummy candy, dried fruit, stroop waffles, and graham crackers. These can be a tasty and effective way to keep your energy levels up. Avoid high-fat, high-protein, or high-fiber foods. They digest slowly and can cause stomach discomfort. These types of foods can lead to gastrointestinal issues, which are the last thing you want during a race. When should you start fueling? Timing your intake is just as important as what you consume. Begin within the first 30, 40 minutes of your race and continue every 30, 40 minutes. This helps maintain a steady flow of energy. Aim for 30, 60 grams of carbs per hour, adjusting based on your race distance. This range ensures that you are getting enough energy without overloading your system. And remember, always practice your fueling strategy during training to see what works best for you. This helps you avoid any surprises on race day. By following these tips, you'll avoid hitting the wall and finish strong. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you achieve your running goals. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more running tips. Happy running! Your journey to becoming a better runner starts here.